My wife is laying in a beach chair, but she should come up because it's getting pretty close to the 12.30 start of the buffet. Quite a spot here. The beach stretches on for 20 kilometers in the peninsula. Maybe if I move over here, you'll be able to see uh, some of the bird life gathered because there's some fishermen right there with nets and they're thinking they might get a free meal. There's uh, the beach bar is right there in the buffet and We're not far from the main pool and lobby. The maids come to make our beds. Decent sized room. Goes into the washroom. Turning to the sink area a couple of mirrored doors on the closet uh, television and refrigerator and a ball I bring in order to keep my back from seizing up Kawama is on a nearly a kilometer long stretch of beach down to both the volleyball net there on 5th Street and runs west from there. Here we're coming up to the buffet. Just inland past that's the main pool, pool bar lobby bar and uh, look into the sunshine here Wama goes past that building there uh, another 300 yards or so and from the buffet and El Rosalino a la carte Gorgeous stretch of ocean beach, which uh, most days is swimmable. You'll get a tan and hopefully some relaxation and peace of mind. Sitting on the uh, lobby's patio, drinking a uh, Caesar from Caesar mix I brought from Canadian Tire at home dry mix called Caesar Pleaser mixed it with some water and have something that they don't have here and this is the view of the pool pool bar one of the rooms entertainment area beautiful this is a map of the layout of Club Kawama you can freeze it see what room numbers are where I'm in building number two on the ground level and we're just gonna walk in and have a look at uh, room number 205 in the original building that the resort began with. You'll see they've got a bed that takes up most of the room here. Air conditioner up on that block wall. Here you have your refrigerator, television. Out this way is a uh, 
shared patio looking over the canal. Back into the room. They've got the shutter open. You see the washroom in here. Back to the room. Not large, but loaded with character. This, that's Karen's grilled chicken at El Brocal Cuban restaurant, a la carte. Moving over to my grilled red snapper, and it looks delicious. I'm looking at uh, Orlando Suarez and Jose Vidal. They made me a great dinner at uh, El Brocal a la carte. It's a windy, windy Tuesday, the 21st of uh, January, and I have uh, ham in the middle, a beef stew on the right, a couple of coconut macaroons at the back. Next to that is uh, some local sweet potato and a salad, some artichoke and stuff on the left side of the plate. A few things I bring with me for my salads, as you can see. And um, because it's windy, nobody's sitting out on the patio here, but it is a beautiful day. and I found a spot in the corner out of the wind. When you uh, enter the buffet, you should find an empty table and put something personal at that table so that after you have gotten your food, you can uh, have a place to eat it at. This is where the bread is in the morning and the toaster. I advise going around the entire buffet first and seeing what they have to eat, deciding what you want. Then you grab a plate, you check out, uh, they've got some chickpeas, rice, shredded beef, a uh, little different rice. Looks like some pieces of uh, some type of fish, uh, eggplant, a couple of soups. There's also salads. This is some onion that's on some fish, some beans, peas, carrots. Back there is some potatoes with onions and some eggs there. Here's some black beans and onion. Um, shredded cabbage, I think, some sauce green beans, cucumbers, um, cabbage, tomatoes, red peppers, green peppers, peas, lettuce, uh, pickled uh, cabbage, pickled, slightly, slightly pickled beets and carrots. Some more plates here. Uh, around the other side we have a, uh, looks like cabbage and some other vegetables on top of it. And shrimp today, that usually uh, goes over big. Uh, that's some tuna salad they call it there and uh, not sure what type of vegetable that is. Or this meat, uh, some more rice. Then there's the fruit, various melons, uh, oranges, pineapples, papaya, mango, pineapple. There are a few sauces here that you can put on your salad. There's another steam 
table with uh, looks like some rice with uh, some meat pieces in it, pork I think, uh, peas, carrots, potato, maybe eggplant. Oh, there's a bunch of potatoes. Some more plates. Right behind me, there's a southern seating area of the buffet. This is the dessert area. Got some toppings for your ice cream choices. They have wonderful ice cream in Cuba. The dessert spread looks excellent this lunchtime. There's a few uh, puddings here, some rice pudding and a custard. A couple of cakes. In front there's a bit of a coconut macaroon. There is a grill where you can have something cooked hot. Over here is a few, next to that, against the south wall, we'll see some blue cheese today, some different meat cuts. Those are slightly hot peppers, artichoke, mushrooms, more meats. Rydell is about to show us what he has to cook today. The best fish. The best fish. Uh, what type? What kind? Uh, this is uh, one local fish. A the, local. Yeah, it's a river fish, but it's the best with garlic, with pepper. It's, it's nice. Okay. They, they have no bones, no nothing. Oh, it's clean. Perfect. Yeah, and uh, he's going to grill that here for us. Uh, hot dogs. He also has some fish. hot dogs and sausage here. Salami. And uh, some salami. Salami, yeah. So, Rydell is your chef de jour. Gracias. Garlic, garlic with olio for the, the preparation. Perfecto. And I've come into the lunch area just before they open up to uh, show you where you're going to be eating that lunch. In front of our room, uh, it's interesting to watch the fishermen going to a spot where they hope to get some big ones. Windsurfers just off of the patio of the buffet. He's got a good day for it. I'm in uh, building 46. It faces the north. A few feet from the beach, there's a ridge to keep the hurricane waves from coming over it. We're just close here to building 45 on the beach. And 4604. It's a nice bright room. Lots of light. In here you see tub, shower, toilet sink, mirror. Back this way the maid is just working on making the beds so they're a little askew. Decent sized room. We have here the uh, television and uh, it is facing the canal on the south side town of Santa Marta across there and uh, there's a little drawer set for your luggage again it's not a huge room and uh, this again is a, an example of a regular room at Kawama at the buffet on a Monday afternoon and uh, my wife opted for the salad that she's made, but when I went in, I went for the meat. I got some ham and some pieces of beef, calamari rings, hot peppers, potato, and it all tastes pretty good. I'm uh, by the pool at the west end of Club Kawama next to uh, El Brocal Cuban a la carte 
There is an afternoon uh, bar on the beach right there. It's sort of a U-shaped building going up to three stories surrounding the pool. Here comes the bartender and the building continues around uh, this uh, little double pool and uh, you see the roofs of the Palapas there on the beach. It's quiet at this end. We're getting uh, pina coladas at the bar in building 41 from Gustavo. He's uh, open until uh, the early afternoon. There's a hotel down south, south of Key West, near a country called Cuba, place we like best. People flying down here, year after year, doing shops and love and getting the sun and doing the crystal beer. I'm on the second floor of building 18 towards the south east corner of the resort and uh, it's not too far from the Grand Canal International Restaurant that uh, higher building in the distance is on 5th Street past that Tortuga Resort this is room 1811 As I said, 1811, going in. It's not a big room. This is what you get for a standard room at Club Kawama. A washroom with a sink. Inside of that is in the next room. Shower, tub, toilet. Closet in there. This is the room itself. It has a uh, fridge underneath of the TV 
some windows facing west. Just through there is the back of building 16. Just on the other side of 16 is the main pool and lobby. Not a big room, as I said. Has a double bed. And that's what you're going to get. The air conditioner is working well. But pretty much this is what you're looking at in a standard room. This is a beginning lesson in how to uh, kite surf. We're at the west end of the resort Hotel Kawama. Looking west you see Cayeta and Punta Arena high rises. Cranes beyond that are to build a new 2,000 room resort. Between there is Club Cary and then right here we're at Elbro Call Cuban Restaurant a la carte and it's the start of uh, this is building 41 from Club Kawama going into building 42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that we're looking at there. It's a long resort. It's only a few feet uh, between the canal here and the ocean that uh, the stretch of rooms, long stretch of beach that Kawama is built on. came back to El Brocal, Cuban, a la carte, and they didn't have the red snapper tonight, but they had another fish called Fulvanero, and I think they gave me a big piece, and it is cooked perfectly.